Now let's think about the slope of a function and its inverse. And let's look at some functions that we know. Let's look at y equals x squared, which would look like this if we graph it. We go through 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. So try to sketch a nice parabola or half parabola there. Let's see if we can make this look good. Okay, that's y equals x squared and it goes through the point right here 2 comma 4 and let's look at its inverse which would be the square root of x and that also goes through 1 1 and 0 0 and it goes through 4 comma 2 and that curve looks like this that's pretty good so that's the function y equals the square root of x and this is y equals x squared and we have the point 2 4 and down here we have the point 4 comma 2 now think about the slope of these functions for the function y equals x squared the rate of change of y will with respect to x will be the same as the rate of change of x with respect to y for this function so think about that slope remember slope is rise over run which is which is just delta y over delta x or in calculus terms dy dx if you switch the x and y which is what we do with inverse functions you have delta x over delta y or dx dy and you can literally see this on the graph think about the slope right here how steep this graph is right at this point 2 comma 4 and you can probably see that the slope it has a slope of 4 right here at this point let me see right there the slope equals 4 if you can't see that just think about the derivative of this function y primed is going to equal 2x and you can see that's the slope the derivative of y and when x equals 2 which is the case at this point then uh, y primed will equal 4 so the slope is 4 now think about the the inverse function down here at the corresponding point the point here 4 comma 2 and think about the slope there this is the point on the inverse function which corresponds to that point on the original function so down here the slope is going to be one-fourth and if you don't see that you could take the derivative here that that's x to the one-half so y primed would be one-half x to the negative one-half or one over two square root of x and you can see right here when x is four this is going to equal one over two times two or one-fourth and this hopefully will make some intuitive sense to you by looking at this diagram and thinking about it if you were to imagine the line y equals x right through here and you imagine taking one of these curves your original curve and reflecting it across this line so that you end up with this curve then the result is a slope at any given point that is the reciprocal of the slope at the corresponding point on the original graph so so if right here the rise over run is 4 then right here the rise over run is 1 over 4 or another way to say that in terms of inverse functions being related to the interchange of x and y if the rise over run right here is 4 then the run over the rise right here is 4 and if the run over the rise right here is 4 well then the rise over the run is 1 fourth and this will be true not just for this particular function x squared and its inverse but for any function and its inverse so the practical consequence of this and you can write this in your notes if you're taking notes on the printed page you can write this write the slope the slope of function f the slope of f at any point at any point we'll call it xy the slope of f at any point xy is the reciprocal
is the reciprocal of the slope of the inverse function of the slope of f inverse at the corresponding point at the corresponding point y comma x so I'll say that again and think about what that says the slope of f at any point x y is the reciprocal of the slope of f inverse at the corresponding point y x and we see that in this particular example the slope right here which is 4 that's at the point 2 comma 4 is the reciprocal of the slope of the inverse function at the corresponding point 4 comma 2 you see here at 4 comma 2 the slope is 1 fourth I'm hoping that, that you can see from this diagram and hoping that this can convince you that if in this region of the graph if we go up if we if we go over a certain amount and up a certain amount then in the corresponding region down here on the inverse function we would go up a certain amount and over a certain amount and the amount we go over here corresponds to the amount we go up here and the amount we go up here corresponds to the amount we go over here so the rise in one case corresponds to the run in the other or we can say the run here corresponds to the rise there which is just the same thing as saying we're switching the x and the y so instead of uh, slope of 4 over 1 we have 1 over 4 and you should see that that will be the case for any function and its inverse next we'll look at some examples that go through this with some other functions besides these two